Okay guys, I have to make a little repair in uh, getting the, I think it's an Aramark cover off this. I busted one of these plastic tabs off the uh, left turn signal light. And I think it's rather a stupid design that they have this license plate thing integrated into the left turn light with just these two little tabs. So I broke it off and I don't have time to find a solution for the license plate. I don't want to be drilling into this fiberglass any more than I have to. So luckily I was able to find this lens on um, e-trailer. Um, it's a 92 series lens. This one has a back of light, which this one had, and I put that little piece of film over there to cover that up. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cover off. That's going to go on the new lens. I'm going to pull this off, and I don't feel like fishing wires through there, these wires. So I'm just going to snip them here and then I'm going to solder them together with shrink tubing. It'll be right. Um, maybe it's not the best solution, but I'll probably end up replacing this anyway so I don't feel like taking the time to go back there and uh, fish those wires through. Now, in these taillights I have LEDs in there and I wired it up so that the back of the light comes on when the brakes come on. So you have two lights. It's much brighter. You can see my video on that. But uh, we'll see how this goes. Should shouldn't be a problem. I've got um, I've got a ground. The whites are the grounds. It's funny there are two of them. They're not together. That's interesting. And then I've got the two filaments in this bulb, and then this one. Here's the two LED. This is 1157, and this is 1156. So they're going to go in the new light fixture. I need to take them out. I've got these four screws here. And I'm going to have to take them out. Okay, since these screws are square, I need to use the square bit here. And I'm going to use it in my uh, cordless drill. Okay, so here's the new light fixture on there. It was kind of a bitch because these wires are very short. Um, on the inside of this, there's that rat fur, what they call rat fur. Um, so to get to these wires, it's not really easy. I have to tear that rat fur off and look where it is. I didn't really want to do that. Luckily, I was able to solder them. So I put shrink tube here, here, and here. Excuse me, these two places. I need to shrink that. This was the wire for the back light, but I removed that some time ago. I'm going to put some silicone here to coat that so it doesn't short up against anything. I'm going to put caulk in there after I put the license plate holder on. But there you have it. It works. So this is the one with the broken tab. I'll have to replace this at some point. I'll have to actually get in there you know and do uh do some work but uh it works and i'm glad i'll put it together and uh, also these little screws that they have they don't really work on all of them so what i'm using is if i can find it excuse me excuse me a machine bolt um it's a little shorter than this i'll have to find a, another one but anyway, so I'm putting them in instead of the uh, little screws because I want to make sure that's held. But it is in place and it's pretty much done. So I'm sorry I couldn't show you all this. This is just a matter of soldering and stripping. It was kind of a pain in the butt to get at those little wires. But uh, everything works good, so I'm glad. Okay, so there's the finished product. See, I put our TV here as an insulator. I've caulked inside that hole. I've caulked around the top and the sides. I should have done a better job of getting the old caulk out of there. That wasn't quite flush up against there. And I know it wasn't because there was a buildup of caulk back there. But I probably should have worked a little harder to make it flat. But it'll be fine. It, it is just as weather sealed as it was before, which is not very, but it's okay. As long as uh, water doesn't seep into that hole, I think we'll be okay. So I'm going to wait for this to dry, then I'll put the lens cover on, and uh, then I'm done. So thanks for watching.